Flutter Tree, Forever and a Day. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. Haruki Murakami I'm dying, Discord. The elderly Fluttershy weakly held out a hoof for Discord to take within his claws. She was over a century old now, and yet Discord, as ageless as the princesses, hadn't aged a day. She was paper thin, light as a feather you could say. Her wrinkles were like a testimony of all the history she had witnessed, and all the history that she had made. Her beautiful pink mane was disheveled from weeks of the lack of energy to brush it. Discord had joked with her that he liked the chaotic look of an unbrushed mane, but the sad truth was that he knew this day was coming, and Fluttershy didn't want to trouble him by asking for help. Discord was rarely at a loss for words, but the pain of this moment was too much, even for him. He cleared his throat gently. My dear, dear Fluttershy, is there anything I can do for you to make this better? She sighed, but it also came out as a wheeze. There really is nothing you can do. Death is a part of life. And I know that there are rules that even you can't break. Twilight might turn a blind eye to you doing something to extend my life, but even to have one more day with you, I can't begin to ask for such a favor. Discord sucked in a breath and held it. He exhaled with a finality. Let me do something for you. Anything you want, please. Tell your heart's desire. One last time. Fluttershy considered the request carefully. Well, it's been kinda a running joke for a while now. Ever since that train trip to Appaloosa forever ago, but... I'd really like to be a tree. A big tree. Where the birds can build nests in my branches, and all of my animals can play and rest in my shade. I know I won't be alive as I am now, but maybe I could live as the tree for a while, before I truly pass. Maybe you could do that for me? Discord nodded as he lifted her from the bed she was resting on. He carried her outside with all the animals following. Carrying her in his arms almost felt like he was carrying a bride. And that was bittersweet for him, given all they shared over the years. He walked up to a large hill that overlooked Ponyville and sat her down. How does this spot suit you, my dear? Fluttershy looked around and sighed. I couldn't have picked a better spot if I had tried. This is perfect. Thank you for this. Discord wiped a tear off his face. I know that I don't say it enough, but I love you, Fluttershy. I swear I will defend your tree to my dying day. Are you ready? Fluttershy nodded. I love you too. Never forget that as long as you remember me. I'll never truly be gone. It'll be nice to still be able to be by your side, after a fashion. I'm ready. Discord kissed her one last time and took a step back and snapped his fingers. Fluttershy transformed into a giant tree, with a yellowish bark similar to her coat color, green leaves, and pink flowers similar to her mane color. Her animals flocked to the tree and looked quizzically at Discord. He cleared his throat. Woodland creatures. Fluttershy is... gone. But she's still here as this tree. Birds build your nests in her branches. Animals of all types rest in her shade. And I shall remain to protect you all. But first, I have to deliver some bad news. With a snap of his fingers, he disappeared. Princess Twilight Sparkle sat on her throne in Canterlock Castle. Ruling over Equestria had gotten easier over the years, but she was still coping with the impeding loss of her friends, delicately. So far, none of them had perished, but it was only a matter of time. Luster Dawn and her friends were a bright light for her, but even they were now reaching middle-aged. It wouldn't be long before she would need a new personal student. How did Celestia do it? 
Emotional detachment isn't easy when making friends is your purpose. A guard approached the throne. Your Majesty, you have a visitor. She nodded. Show the guest in. The guard saluted her, and then nodded to the guards at the double doors. Once the doors opened, Discord walked in, and slowly approached the throne in a measured, respectful pace. When he got to the proper distance, he bowed. Twilight's jaw hung open in shock. Discord! I... didn't expect such a... Um, well, normal entry from here. What brings you here today? Discord looked at the throne. I... feel rather... sad... today. Normal being the opposite of chaos felt appropriate. I... I regret to inform your majesty that Fluttershy has... passed away. After a fashion. Twilight took a sharp intake of breath, but also raised an eyebrow. After a fashion? Discord nodded. Fluttershy was... dying. So I asked her if there was anything I could do. And I honored her final request. For all intents and purposes, though, she is... gone. Twilight closed her eyes. She counted to ten. Then she got up off the throne and walked to Discord, pulling him into a hug and wrapped him in her wings. I'm... so sorry, Discord. I know you loved her. What was their final request? Discord sighed. I turned her into a tree. Twilight froze and then smiled. Oh, looks like the joke is on us then. We've come full circle. I remember that train ride where she said she wanted to be a tree. Where is she? Discord nodded respectfully. I'll take you to her. With a snap of his fingers, they disappeared. When Twilight's eyes adjusted to the light, she gasped. The tree was beautiful. Birds were already making nests in the branches, and Fluttershy's animals were lounging in the shade. The hilltop was peaceful, with a breeze that any pony could appreciate. This is lovely, Discord. <laughs> Thank you. Discord wrapped a clawed hand around Twilight in a hug. It was all for Fluttershy. I've named the tree Fluttertree. I think I'll even make a plaque for it. No pony should ever forget that this tree bodies the elements of kindness. Literally. Twilight nodded as tears streamed down her face. I regret that I didn't get to say goodbye to her, but I... I guess I can visit the tree anytime I get lonely or sad. Discord smiled. I think Fluttershy would love it if you had tea with her. You can pour her portion of tea on her roots. It won't hurt her. Discord produced a familiar tea set with Fluttershy's cutie mark on the cups and tea kettle, causing Twilight to gasp. Discord continued. Ginseng tea would probably be the best choice when you have tea with her. It'll help her the most. Twilight cried in a Discord shoulder, and they shared a moment of the passing of one of her best friends. Bro, I feel so evil. As soon as I saw that he turned her into a tree, I laughed. I just laughed. I, I probably shouldn't feel like that. But for some reason, I just found it so funny. Anywho, let's get on to our more respectful donators. Top donators, Jesse Smith, Star630, Badass Waffle, Only One Thing, and Saru Orion. Magic Jock DF, Lucio, Darkside, Raiden, Narwhal's Luck, Moonra, Pastel, Sky, Sauce, and Rollin, Sword Brother, Mordred, Omicron, Lyra, Runescythe, Lil' Chris, Twinkie, Rise, Soul, Shadow Moon, Luigi, Chance, Across, The Big Smoke, Bobcat, Murder Princess, Jet, Calidus, Little Mighty, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.